have an exciting project. I'm going to turn these lockers that I got for cheap when a company was going out of business into some shelving for my craft room. And I have not even opened them up to see what's inside. So I'm going to open these up, see how bad shape they are, clean it off, and get to work. Let's see what kind of gross stuff I'm going to find inside these lockers. I thought I'd find some crazy funny things in these lockers to show you, but the worst I found was a pen and some splashed root beer. I got pretty lucky. Okay, I have wiped down the whole thing. I decided not to clean too carefully since I'm going to get metal shavings all over it in just a second. I'm ready to remove the doors to the lockers. What I'm doing today is removing the rivets. So I'm using my drill with a drill bit that is like three times larger than the one that fits in the hole. I also need a little screwdriver and a hammer to push out part of the bit when I'm done. So let me zoom in. All right, I have three, three rivets right here. I'm just going to drill right into the same hole. Have to move it around a little bit to drill it out. And you have to push really hard. There we go. Should come comes right off. Now there's still the other piece of the rivet is inside, so I'm just gonna use this and a hammer to punch it out, and I just heard it fall all the way through. That's what it looks like after I've popped the rivet out. No damage at all. So if it doesn't pop right off, use a little chisel. And there's one door down. So I've got six doors out. I'm going to vacuum out the, all the pieces, see how I like it. See if I can decide if I want it with four, six doors out or nine doors out. So I've taken off all the doors. Um, so I'm ready to start painting. I want to paint the inside black and the outside white. I have no idea which one it would be better to paint first, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the black inside first and then the white outside. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna take the front so that they can stay white and I'm gonna try and paint all the inside black. I don't really need to paint the inside of these door clothes, but I figured it'd be a good place to experiment with the spray paint. So, the first time I did this, I got paint in my nose, had a little black fine mustache from all the paint fumes and black all over my hands. So this time, I'm going to be smart. I'm gonna put on my mask, my safety glasses, and some uh, gloves so my hands won't turn black because it's hard to get off. Hmm, much better. more pleasant experience. So just for fun, you can see that the mask obviously did not help much. I look worse than I did the first time. Not sure quite what happened. And I'm gonna go get the mineral spirits and see if I can get it off. Okay, I've just done my very favorite part. Take off the tape. It looks really cool. I can't wait to do the white. So sometimes I think I should call my site the misadventures of one creative mommy because I make so many mistakes when I'm making things. But that's what creativity is all about, trying things, learning from your mistakes, and trying again. So I make all the mistakes for you so that you don't have to make them. So it's taken about twice as long as I thought it would, and a lot more paint than I thought it would because I kept having to fix things. Um, but I'm ready to take out all the paper and put this in the house. When I show you the reveal of the finished product in the house, I'll let you know what things I wish I had done differently. Ta-da! 
The lockers are finally done. I'm really excited with how they turned out. I love that I've got the part that I can always have looking nice and neat on top. And then down here, I can hide all the craft supplies, kids homework. One thing I would suggest about these lockers is be sure to anchor them to the wall. They're really heavy, um, just like the bookshelves and dressers that need to be anchored to the wall. This should be anchored to the wall as well so that nobody gets hurt. If I were to do this again, I would not bother taping at all and spray all the white first. Then I would go ahead and tape and be sure to tape all the holes along the outside so that the black paint doesn't go through and put little shadows on the outside. Then I would go in and spray the black. I ended up having to do a lot of repair work on the white. The black came on, the black went really smoothly. I don't know why the white was harder, but I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. Thanks for watching.